Yes, Bulgaria, as I said, uh, has a lot of people from the technology sector, so we try to use uh, technology uh, in as many ways as uh, possible. We have a mobile application that allows us to have uh, electronic primary elections and to interact with our members and supporters. We've tried to digitalize a lot of the internal processes of the party as well. Uh, for example, uh, during elections uh, we rely a lot on um, uh, representatives uh, during the election day observers who make sure that the process is uh, uh, fair and just uh, and um, we have a system that uh, generates all the necessary documentation that uh, helps us uh, uh, distribute those people around uh, the different sections uh, during the election day uh, and it's uh, just another example of how we try to um, use uh, our resources in the best possible way because we don't have an unlimited number of people and sometimes it's very important uh, to optimize the number of hours uh, you put in a specific uh, to a task that needs to be done. Uh, one of the things uh, we are most proud of is the development of our mobile application that was aimed to redefine the way uh, people interact with uh, their instruments for political representation uh, so that um, and we wanted to make sure that we stay tuned to the heartbeat of the people we try to speak for. It uh, has a few functionalities at the moment. They include the ability to spread news and event invites, to uh, run targeted surveys uh, within particular groups of people and uh, probably most importantly to uh, hold uh, electronic primary elections uh, whenever we need to determine our candidate lists for a particular uh, election round. Uh, and uh, we are looking into developing some new functionalities in the future as well, uh, making sure that people can interact with um, their elected representatives. I've been uh, very inspired by some ideas uh, uh, about using art, um, using different forms of interaction with people. Um, me coming from the technology sector, I obviously have a belief that technologies can be used, but uh, I've learned from a lot of good examples that I've seen that uh, there are other forms. Uh, most importantly, I think, is to make sure that uh, you manage to evoke people's emotions and to reach their hearts in one way or another and make sure that um, you give them a way to act and give them a way forward, um, give them hope, not only fear. And uh, I think um, we have a lot of <laughs> ideas now of how we can do that back home as well. I think uh, maybe the best way is to kind of forget the previous framework in which uh, specific uh, structures worked and uh, not to limit yourself by how things uh, have been done up, uh, up to now and uh, try to be more authentic uh, to what you believe in and try to uh, be much closer to the people you try to speak for and you try to represent. Uh, taking advantage of modern technologies, of art, of um, any, any tool that can make people more involved in uh, what you're working for. I'm inspired, uh, I'm always inspired when I meet uh, different uh, people fighting from different causes but proving that um, people are much more than uh, creators that try to optimize their well-being and I'm always inspired by people who fight for the well-being of others and I think um, this is what makes uh, anyone's life meaningful and I'm grateful that I keep finding more and more people like that. Mm -hmm.